The Ease Eye Radiant was sent to us for review a few months back, and even at that time it was pretty prepped, primed, and polished as much as it is now. So why are we doing this video? Well, Ease Eye has implemented even more changes to their final product before they go live on release. If you want to see the full review video, click the video card up above, but for now let's look at the changes and improvements this item has gone through and touch on each one of them. Anti-Glare Layer TLCD as a refresher stands for Transflective Liquid Crystal Display or Transflective LCD. It has a reflective layer to utilize ambient light when using the unit and when needed a glow light to allow light to pass through the reflective layer and into your eyes. So with that comes the need for anti-glare attributes. You wouldn't want glare defeating the sole purpose of viewing this unit, so they have implemented an all new high efficiency anti-glare layer that cuts down on glare to give you the best viewing experience possible at the best spread of angles possible. Full Spectrum LEDs They've added an even better and fuller spectrum of LED packs to assist in getting you the best eye comfort possible. Reason being, if you use too low a degree of Kelvin or too warm of a light, it doesn't do the image justice and changes the colors. Conversely, if you use too high of a degree of Kelvin or too blue of a light, it is strenuous on the viewer's eyes. Wireless connectivity. This is a big one. Wireless connectivity is built right into the device now to allow for even more functionality. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So built-in Wi-Fi at no additional cost is only beneficial for use cases moving down the line as they have set you up from the get-go with wireless communication on board. Physical backlight off and on switch. The backlight now has not only the ability to turn off or on as it did in the initial prototype, but there is a physical switch to do so, adding for even more ease of use that you don't have to cycle through menu options to find how to change the backlight on or off, you can just toggle it with a physical slide button. 4 VESA HOLES Finally, the last change, and I personally think is the most pertinent change to the physical construction, is the addition of the four VESA mounts at the back. VESA is a standardized square layout of threads that allow the user to attach it to various computer mounts. This includes desktop wall mounts as well. These aren't small changes. This isn't just a fresh coat of paint and an additional USB port. These are pretty substantial changes that are all geared towards the user experience. They're carefully decided and catered to make sure the user has the best experience possible. I personally think those VESAs at the back and the physical light switch really does it for me because this gives it a lot of character now and you can have this thing mounted as a secondary or tertiary monitor if need be, but still not affect the overall portability of the unit itself, which it is advertised as such. If you want to grab one of these details are down below, and thank you to Ezai for sending us this sample. 